Hi, Hi guys. guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are off travelling again today. We're off to Dublin. Yep, woo, off woo. to Dublin. So this is probably going to be one long vlog Definitely. again. Definitely. We're only going um, for 48 hours. Yeah, we're only going for 48 hours. So we've got a few things planned. So like we do on every single travel now, we're going to bring you guys you along. You guys are coming with us. Yeah. If we look <laughs> super tired, it's because it's, uh, it's, really it's now 5 to 5 in the morning. We've so been up since 4. Yeah. So it's not just us going alone. No. No, we're going with my sister yep. and my brother-in-law. You would have seen them on our Malta vlog. They were they didn't talk or anything today, but they were just in the background. And so yeah, they're they're coming along as well. So us four going away, going to explore the sites of Dublin. It should be uh, it should be good fun. good fun. But yeah, the flight is around I think it's five past five, eight. Yeah, five past eight, and we're flying from Stansted. Uh, if you'd have watched our previous vlogs, you'd see that Stansted is probably only around forty-five minute travel for us from where we live. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's not too far to go. So yeah, we're gonna get picked up in about five minutes, head down there, sort ourselves out. And then, yeah, fly over to Dublin. I think it's only an hour's flight or just over an hour's flight. Yeah, we land at like 20 past nine or something. Yeah, so it's so not... it's really short. Yeah, it's not, it's not too, too bad. Flying with Ryanair, so yeah. Yeah, flying with Ryanair. Yeah, we've only got rucksacks as well because we're only there for 48 hours. Do you know so... how hard it is to pack for a rucksack? <laughs> not used to it. It is pretty crazy. They are they are bulging out. Yeah, it's really so, heavy. <laughs> yeah, we've got everything in there. So, uh yeah, we're going to bring you guys along like we normally do. We will explain more about where we're staying, uh, what we've got planned in Dublin. We'll explain all more of that when we're down at the airport. But for now, we're going to wait patiently to be picked up, up and head down there. <laughs> So we have made it to the airport. Got through security. Oh my word, it is yeah. rammed. That There's is so many that people. That was so slow. Considering last time we came, it was probably the smoothest and quickest we'd ever ever seen it. But the travel down here was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good, smooth. Yeah. Yep. My brother-in-law Darren, he drove, and uh, yeah, we got here in one piece, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, we made it through security now. Like Jess says, it was a bit of a pain. It was a bit of a slow it took one. Us about 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah, we parked actually at a short stay car park, didn't we? Yeah, short stay blue, which is you just walk to the terminal, so that's really handy. Yeah, so it isn't too far at all. But we'll come through, like we say. We've actually stopped at Sunnyside Cafe. Yep. So we are going to grab just a quick sausage bat or something yeah, quick and convenient. Quick coffee, quick sausage bat. We've got 20 minutes till yeah. our gate's called, so we've we, yeah we've got enough time yeah. to quickly. And we are absolutely starving. So. I'm so hungry. And to be fair, because it's an early start, I am flagging so. A coffee is uh, essential right now, so we're going to go and grab one of those. We'll show you what it is when it comes out anyway, but then we'll probably pick this up a little bit later on when we're a little bit further through the airport. Yeah. I suppose maybe as we're about to board the plane maybe, or we might pick it up on the plane. Or we might even pick it up there, we're not sure yet. Obviously we'll see what we can video and then bring you guys along.
So we have made it. Do your Irish accent, Tom, like you did on the plane. <laughs> Top of the morning. <laughs> Yeah, that's, we've made that's it. Tom's Irish accent. The, the flight actually took a little while to take off, but as soon as it oh took God, off, we were going to take off at five past eight. We took off at twenty to nine. Yeah, so typical Ryanair. Yeah, eventually we Why got up in the air, surprised? and the landing was a very bumpy one. But we are here. We are here, safe and sound. Brilliant and flight, though. Literally an hour. Slept the whole whole flight. Yeah, it was so here. easy. I, and, I literally um, woke up on landing. <laughs> So we made it out of the airport now. Obviously we didn't have any luggage or anything. We've just got our rucksacks. So we're outside now actually waiting for our Uber. I think it's going to be a couple of minutes. So yeah. we are going to head down over to the hotel. We're staying at the George, St. George. St. George by Nina. So we will show you around there. We'll show you the hotel, we'll, we'll show you the room and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to wait for the Uber now and then get over to the, get over to the hotel. Hopefully we had to check in early. Yeah, We're not too sure. It say that we can't check in. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes. Uh, can't check in till three, but yeah. fingers crossed they, yeah. they have a it room is, available. It's what time is it now? Um, yeah, so 10 it's 10. 10. So we're hoping we can just chuck our stuff in the room and stuff. But if we can't, look, we've got rucksacks. We'll walk around with them uh, and then we'll go from there. So we have made it to the hotel. We have managed to check in. Yeah, like we said earlier, it was about 10 o'clock. It's now 10.45 and check-in was around two o'clock. So we've managed to check in early, which is good. We're going to unpack our bags. There's only a few things packed in there, but obviously 48 hours here. Uh, but we're gonna unpack them, sort ourselves out. And then our plan is to head over to the Guinness storehouse. So our tour there, is around 12.30. So what we're gonna do is just get ourselves sorted here and we're gonna make our way down there. Whether we get the tram or we walk down there, we're not too sure yet, we might even get an Uber. But what we're gonna do is sort ourselves out of here. We're gonna, Jess is gonna do a room tour quickly, just show you guys the, the room that we're staying in. And then what we're gonna do, yeah, is sort ourselves out, head down there, probably grab a drink on the way as we haven't had a uh, alcoholic drink yet. I know it is early, but we are in Dublin and we are going to sample the Guinness. So we'll try and get that on board before we get to their storehouse. But obviously we'll take you guys around and show you what's uh, what it's all about. Okay, coming in with the room tour. We're in room 508. It's actually really sweet. So we've got double bed there, couple of cabinets, which is nice. Full length mirror, always love a full length mirror. Then you've got the wardrobe here, which has got the towels in, an ironing board, fan, a hairdryer iron, couple of hangers. It's quite good actually, nice size. I like. Is that your right? Yeah. And then we've got a nice, well, kind of nice view out there, not really. And then we've got a little desk here. Hiya. Um, a little coffee machine, always a fan of that. Uh, kettle, tea, milk, water. Then we've got a telly over there. Got a Tom unpacking his bag. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And then in here is the bathroom. It's quite nice actually, nice size. Um, so you've got a shower, functional toilet, and then a sink. And then a couple of toilet trees up here, which is a nice touch. Got um, hair and body shampoo and then just a shower gel and a soap, which is nice. So yeah, I'm pleased. I like it. Try not to fall down the stairs in, in coming out the toilet. Yeah, it's got everything we need, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like. It's got a nice bed, got space, Yeah. shower. It's nice, it's got a couple That's of bedside it. cabinets too. So yeah, yeah for a couple of nights, it's, yeah. We'll let you know how we sleep. So obviously that's yes, a big one. we've been to Dublin before and we stayed in a hotel before, and yeah. the noise was, yeah, that was crazy. We I literally didn't the walls sleep. Were so thin you could literally hear someone whispering next door. <laughs> it, was, yeah, it was it was hard. It was awful. But yeah, we'll let you know how that is. Fingers crossed, it's not like the, that here. Yeah, we're gonna get it's our, nice. We're gonna get ourselves out now and head over to the Guinness store house. <laughs> <laughs> Just notice here they've got USB ports as well. Which is really good. It's nice. Yep, cool. Gonna sort myself out, sort my face out, and then Head catch you down. later. Say goodbye.
So here we are, we have made it to the Guinness storehouse. Yep, we did, so we managed to check in at the hotel, so obviously we've shown you the room tour, so we managed to check in early, which is great. Yeah, um, yeah. We did so sorted ourselves out. Yeah, stop, sorted ourselves out, stopped off on the way at Fitzgerald's Bar. Yeah, Fitzgerald's Bar, and the bill, we will, I will insert that, you would have seen it or you will see it now. And I think it came to 23.90, and that was for two Guinnesses, yeah. uh, a gin and tonic. Yep. And then a pint of, Rock. I'm not something. too sure what it was, Yeah, some lager or something. But I do feel like with that price, it wasn't actually the correct price. No, no it wasn't. We just looked back and they yeah. missed off a Guinness. And then yeah. we didn't realise until just now. We were like, oh, we'll look at the price. Yeah. And they missed off a Guinness. So, yeah. yeah. So it would have probably been another, it would have been around 30 euros or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, we made it to the Guinness storehouse. So we're going to show you guys around here. Yeah, we got an Uber from here, from the Fitzgerald's bar. Yeah, and we did, got an Uber yeah. here, which was how much? That was, I think it was eight euros. Eight so euros. not too bad. Not I mean, we were cutting it a bit fine. We weren't yeah, going to we walk here. We were cutting it a bit fine. So. We decided to jump in the Uber, come down here. We have got a academy um, drink, so I think that means they help Do you. you right? Yeah, they, they teach you how to pour a perfect Guinness, so we'll show you that. And then also, we do have a drink in the Gravity Bar, which is a rooftop um, bar, and you get to view all of all of Dublin yeah, pretty much. So we've been there before. We've been there really before, nice. yeah. So again, we're going to show you guys what it's all about and uh, bring you along.
once we hit the bottom of that golden heart, we're going to slowly straighten out our glass and we're going to fill it to the top of that heart. So we are all done in the Guinness storehouse. That, that was good fun. Obviously you will see from the clips, the amazing sights you got in there. It's very educational as well when you're in there. But uh, yeah, we I think we learned a lot. You know what, first time for me, never done it before, Tom has. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, we got was... about three Guinness in there, did we? Yeah, it was something like that. We had you... a picture on, on one of them. Yep, you get a picture on one, you would have seen that, and then also, you do get to experience pouring one yourself and they teach you quite a lot of it, which is amazing as well. I'd and like then, to uh, say mine was the best, yeah. but I don't think it was. And then you do get to have one in the gravity bar at the top of the um, storehouse. So that was yeah, amazing. That was you, get to, you get to view all of Dublin, which is amazing. So we're actually now come out of there. We're going to head back towards the hotel. I think it's about a 35 minute walk. So what we do plan on doing is maybe grabbing a light snack because to be fair, all we've had today is that sausage bap you'd have seen at the airport. And obviously, you know, with the drink as well. Starving. It is, it is quite a, a tough day, you know, without eating too much and then drinking. It is quite a hard one. So what we plan on doing, maybe grabbing a light snack, heading towards the hotel. We're gonna sort ourselves out because tonight, we actually, sorry, we're just ducking under a tree. <laughs> uh, tonight we actually do have a restaurant booked and it is called Gallagher's Box D, I think it's called. Uh, Jess has looked at it, she's, she's done her research. We actually went there years ago, she absolutely loved it. So we're gonna go there, I think it's about 6 p.m. It's now currently around four, so we might get a light snack. Do a and nice then, Irish stew, apparently. In yeah, there. apparently it's amazing. And my sister's looking forward to it as well. Darren, maybe not so much, 
but we'll find something to suit us. Maybe another Guinness. Yeah, exactly. It's got to be done while you're in Dublin. But that is the plan of action. We'll obviously bring you guys along. So we have made it back to the hotel. It is currently 5 p.m. And since we have left the Guinness storehouse, we did stop off at McDonald's and just grab a light snack. So we do have dinner in around an hour's time. So what we're doing now is just freshen up before we head out. Just is actually in the shower right now. Um, we just freshen ourselves up. Obviously, it's been a long day. Like we got up around 4 a.m. So it has been a bit of a uh, hectic day, you know, with the travel, going to the airport, doing bits and bobs. So we've managed to trial the Guinness, and obviously, the Guinness out here is absolutely amazing. We have managed to get some food on board, even though we do have dinner coming up as well, which is nice. Um, so what we're going to do? Head out for dinner. We'll show you exactly what we do get. Obviously, there's a quite a wide range on the menu when we're over there so it'll be good to show you guys exactly what there is and obviously show you what we do get and give you a review of that place after then i'm not too sure what the plan of action is going to be it might be have a couple more drinks obviously it's been a long day so it might be a case of just having dinner coming back resetting ourselves and putting ourselves in a stronger position so that tomorrow we can go and uh, attack the day the restaurant we're going to we have actually been to before and it was really really nice so it'll be interesting to see if it is still as good if not better, but we will show you guys the menu, show you what's on offer. So good morning guys. Good morning. Long time no see. Yeah, we have <laughs> I'm a, still alive. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot to catch up with. Obviously the last time we spoke was just as we come back to the room, I think after after the storehouse. Yeah, and since then you we've spoke been out. I had a shower. Yeah, since then we've been out and we've done a few things, so we want to uh, fill you in with what we've been up to. So when we left here, we went straight to Gallagher's Box D, yeah. was it? Yeah, that's where we had our dinner reservation. Yeah, sorry, you just have to ignore the seagulls outside. They're going absolutely crazy. They sound like... They are mad. They're, they're Honestly, they've kept me awake. Yeah, most of the night. All night. Yeah, they have been pretty uh, pretty mad out there. They're There's so quite loud. a few of them. But um, yeah, sorry, where, where were we? Oh, we yeah, have, sorry, we We went to <laughs> Gallagher's Box D, and that was an um, amazing meal, wasn't it? Yeah, we, I yeah, really had, good. Me and Rach had stew. You had a... Chicken, the chicken box tea. Box tea. Yeah, Darren had the same, and yeah. it was really good. We did have the box tea fries, pancake fries, pancake fries as well. Um, I didn't actually video the menu, but I will insert the menu now, so you can. I've, I've got it off their website, so I'll insert that now, and you can take a look at that. The drinks we did go for. Darren went for the craft something the tray. The tray, yeah, the craft tray. So you like get a third. Yeah. Of a third of a four, pint in four yeah four little beers basically yeah. and uh yeah that was really nice I, I sampled some of those with <laughs> him as well i did have an amaretto sour cocktail which was really nice what drink did you go for i had a floradora floradora and then gin and something it was really nice yeah and then my sister had a pint of something i'm not too sure but after then we did go into temple bar mm -hmm. i didn't video too much in temple bar it's very intense in there if anyone's been there yeah, you'll, you'll see it's you can't even really get the camera out it's just no. so tight and it's, it's difficult to get some to good honest, angles we actually didn't take the camera out last night. No, uh, we, d we just used our phone, didn't we? Yeah, purely because yeah. we didn't want to have to carry that around and we weren't sure of the plans, how long we were going to be yeah. out. So we didn't take it with us. Yes, yeah, so we got some clips on the phone, yeah. which was quite nice to obviously get them and show you exactly what the food was like and stuff. Like that. Obviously, you'd have seen the food. It was really, uh, really nice. But yeah, after Temple Bar, we went to uh, the Merchant's Arms, is it? Or Arch? Merchant, Merchant Arch? Yeah. I think it's the Merchant Merchant's Arch. Yeah, it I think is. It's that. I'm it pretty is, sure yeah. it is. Uh, but that was great. We spent about four hours in there. Spent a and lot of money as well. Yeah, it was, it's very... Uh, if you've never been to Dublin, be beware that it's going to cost you quite a bit. It's very expensive. You know, every time we went to get around, you're probably looking at between 40, 40 and 50, 50 euros. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's just for... 
um, you know, like a Guinness, maybe yeah. a couple of G and T's or things like that. It was so just it does standard add up. drinks, like no like cocktails or no, no. nothing like that. Um, I was just drinking gin and tonics. So I was Rach. You were yeah. drinking. Just yeah. and coke, so. yeah we were being quite yeah. disciplined you know we didn't go too crazy but it was no. good fun in there if you've ever been in there or you've never been in there go in there because the live band or the live um the live music, the live music is, is so, so good. good yeah the guy last night was play like literally playing banger after banger like yeah it was, it was really like, good like we were yeah. like all right we better go we better, yeah, we better go. go and then we were like what's the next yeah. song what's the, and then yeah, and then we were there till midnight yeah. i don't know how we managed it yeah he sucked us right in but it was bit, um, um yeah it was it was great it was good yeah, today. you do, don't you? Pleasure. I've actually, I mean, I must admit, the time now is, uh, it's half ten. The reason we haven't got out yet is because we do obviously have a few plans. I've actually been doing some work this morning as well, yeah. so I've had to get on top of that. Just touching on with the dinner last night, the total cost come to around 160 euros, it oh, was. Yeah. So it was quite expensive for the food you would have seen. That included the drinks as well. But again, you're in a city, it's a bit like New York when we went there, you know, when we've ever been to London or any city, it is quite expensive. So mm -hmm. um, just be aware of that. But our plan today is we are off to the James, Jameson, Jameson, Jameson Distillery. Distillery. So we're off there. A we've got tour. Yeah, we've got a whiskey tour and that is at half 11. So we've got I mean, about an hour. I don't know how I'm going to cope, to be honest. Yeah, we haven't actually had any breakfast or anything yet. There is a buffet in the hotel here at the St. George's by Nina Hotel. It has got a buffet and it's 10 euros each all you can eat. So yeah. that does look quite good. But we've walked past it a couple of times this morning and it is very busy. So we are just going to head towards Jameson Distillery now. I'm going to head that way, probably grab a coffee or a light snack. And then when we're done in the Jameson's Distillery, we're probably then going to pick something up after there, maybe some lunch or something like that. So we, um, yeah, we opted for more time in bed. Rather than going out early for breakfast. Yeah, I think Jess did. I had to I do did. some work, so. <laughs> I but definitely hey, opted for more time it, in bed. It is what it is, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's going to be another fun-filled day. Obviously, we'll bring you guys along, show you what the distillery is like. And then after then, I'm not too sure what we're going to do. We do want to do some touristy things just around the city, you know. We did, um, the, the storehouse yesterday took up most of our day. We were out. Um, we were in there for over like three hours, so yeah, it did take it up did a lot take of our day. It was jump. really fun, but obviously just meant we didn't get anything else done. No. Nah. So yeah, we're going to head out now, yep. show you guys what we get up to, and then probably see you in the Jameson Distillery. See you there. So we made it into Starbucks, gone for a nice little flat white here. Jess, you've gone for the same, haven't you? And then food-wise, gone for a bacon and egg pretzel, which looks amazing. What did you go for? And so we're going to polish these off and then head down to the distillery. I think we've got sort of 45 minutes, haven't we, until we need to be down there. So we're going to polish these off and then head down there. family crest and our family motto. It's right here on the table guys and it's sine metu. It is Latin, it means for without fear. Now that is a fort in hundreds of families across the city and by the late 18... Guys, it is not a stuff on the table for our ball, walk you through them as you go along. So guys, here at James, we like to think our whiskey making is a mixed place as it has two of our essential ingredients close by. Our first ingredient is fresh running water. 
and the word whiskey itself, it derives from the Irish Ishkabaha, which means water of life. And bring the warts down to our fermentation unit and we add in yeast. And the yeast eats up all the sugar, releasing carbon dioxide. And <laughs> So he's wondering over here if you like. It'll, ta it'll take a second or two for the drop in some form, but once they form, they will fall down the glass quite quickly. Can you guys see my mom? Yeah? Perfect. Can you guys do the exact same thing again? We are done with the distillery tour, and that was amazing. We're just coming to the store after the tasting, and it's got some nice merch in here some Jameson Dickies, some t shirts. Some beanies down here, really nice. We've got a Jameson mug over here. Maybe add that to the collection. We probably would buy some things while we're here, but obviously we've only got our rucksack, so we can't really store too much. But yeah, some nice bottles over here as well. Some coffee glasses. Some socks. Yeah, really nice. So we've got a 20th anniversary, Middleton, just the 6,000 euros, nice and cheap. So we are all done in the Jameson distillery, sorry about the light, we're just yeah, walking we're just through. Under a tunnel. Yeah, that was really good, really enjoyable, it was I must really admit. Good. Like we're not whiskey drinkers. Nah. Confirms like definitely don't like whiskey. Yeah, I must admit, um, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of whiskey, but the whiskey there. It was really good. It yeah, was really fun. A nice experience. You'd yeah. obviously seen the clips. You'd have seen the videos of how it was, but yeah, it was good fun. I must admit, again, not a big whiskey fan, but it was nice no, to try the different ones us. that are there. I can't remember what all three were called. There was like the Is original, it? the bl bl some black. Yeah, I can't remember. Can't remember. Do, do you guys remember what they were called? Original. I have no idea. I can't remember what they were called. Black Barrel. Black Barrel. And Crest. And Crest. That so there was three. <laughs> There's the original Black Barrel and Crest. And I must admit the Black Barrel was probably my favourite. But yeah, it hasn't. I, mean, um, I it hasn't, on all of them. Yeah, it hasn't made me feel any better or any happier towards drinking whiskey. Uh, still something that I don't. We did don't get a free really drink enjoy, as but well. It's good. And we, at the end, you get a free whiskey-based drink, and then yeah. we had orange whiskey and lemonade, and yeah. that was still not yeah. very nice. So yeah, that, not to it, my taste. but it was a great experience. It's great to do. Obviously, to come here and do the Guinness Storehouse was one. That was probably our priority. But to do that, like a lot of people did say, actually yeah, we before had we come, a lot of recommendations for that. So I'm glad yeah. we did it. Yeah, I'm really glad we did do that. So the plan of action now is to just go for a bit of a wonder. There's a few shops about that we want to go and visit, so we're going to go and do that. <laughs> and yeah, obviously, uh, just going, just make the most of the sights. Really, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of noise as well. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to go and visit a few shops see what's what and then go from there I can't remember there was somewhere we wanted to go it's called Trinity Trinity College Trinity College yeah we did go there a few years back when we come just me and Jess there's loads of nice so, shops around there too yeah so we're gonna do a little bit of shopping a little bit of uh, sightseeing sightseeing not all drinking in Dublin yep yep and I do have to get another Guinness because when you're here it's got to be done isn't it yeah. so we're gonna go and do that as well So what is a holiday without coming into a Disney store? So you can see, a local Mickey. So we've got a real life Jess shopping in her environment. You're a happy girl, aren't you? I do really like this. That's a nice jumping out, isn't it? Yeah, now that is a nice one. Taking a look at a few of the lounge flies. 
that. Yeah, that is a pretty darn that one, isn't it? Yeah. You are going to have to start adding to your lounge fly collection, aren't you? So we have come into Sheehan's just as we were strolling around and this is what I've gone for. The chicken burger, it looks absolutely outstanding. It looks epic. It does look good. We've got some chicken wings as well to share. What's your sandwich, Jess? Ham uh, and cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese sandwich. And then a couple of wings over there, some sandwiches as well. I'm going to tuck into this and see how it is. So guys, we have got a lot to catch up with. <laughs> when did we last vlog? So the last time we spoke on the actual camera was after the Jameson Distillery. So we are now yeah. home. Yeah, we are actually now home. We're not in Dublin anymore. We did actually speak a tiny bit when we had some food, so you would have seen that just before this clip. But yeah, yeah so we, we didn't... had food at what was uh, it Sheehan's. Sheehan's, and that was really yeah. nice. Yeah, that was lovely. And we were going to continue obviously vlogging and doing things like that, like we normally do, but the weather after then was terrible. There was no chance we could the rain, do anything. It was hammering it down. Like, yeah. even if you did have an umbrella or a waterproof, yeah. like, it still would not have been enjoyable. Nah, it was, we. Yeah. Well, we want to go to Trinity College. Yeah. yeah. We want to walk around there, but the, the weather just. There was no chance of us doing it that. Wasn't, and then also, really if we were either. going to do that, we would have sacrificed, well, we would, would have got wet for one. And plus, getting the camera out and stuff when it's raining as aggressively as it was, it just wasn't going to be practical. So, no. yeah, we finished at the Jameson Distillery. We then had a little wonder, went into a few shops. We then went into Sheehan's and we had some great food. Obviously, we did walk over the food slightly. I had the chicken burger. You I had, had a ham type toasty sandwich yeah, thing, it was really like nice. But it was good, yeah, we had a couple of drinks in there as well. I think the bill come to 148 euros, I think. Something like that. Something like yeah. I did get a clip, so I'll insert that now so you'll see exactly what we did pay and what we did have. But yeah, that was real nice food. We then went from there and battled a bit of the rain because we had to get out of that, that pub eventually. Literally so, dodged the rain. Yeah, we ended up going to the Merchant's Arch, which we went to on the previous night. So we went in there, had a few more drinks. We did plan on videoing and doing some more vlogging, but the weather just didn't let up all night. And no, we stayed it rained in there. All, it was meant to stop yeah. at six, and we was like, oh, it's okay. At six, we'll like head back out, but it just didn't. No, nah, it didn't. The it was, forecast was It was wrong. honestly so bad. <laughs> so we enjoyed a few drinks in there. You'd have seen a few clips from in there as well. Yeah. Then we got back to the hotel room. We fell asleep. We woke up. But because we left quite early this morning, there was just no point really in vlogging this yeah, morning. Yeah, we left. And we didn't want to vlog to travel home, so... It was only an hour's flight. So yeah. There's not much to see. Nah. Um, in Dublin Airport, we literally got a coffee yeah. and a breakfast wrap, and that was it. There yeah. wasn't anything to show you. Nah, there wasn't much to vlog, um, so we just said to each other, look, we'll pick it up when we're home. Yeah. We couldn't vlog towards the end of yesterday. We can vlog, obviously, when we get in, just to give a conclusion on uh, a, a conclusion, sorry, on the holiday and how it was. But we really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was Real good fun. Good holiday. Just to be aware, guys. So yesterday, when we were trying to find somewhere for lunch, we tried to go in two pubs, and mm. they wouldn't let us in because Tom was wearing tracksuit bottoms. So yeah. please be aware if you go to Dublin, wear jeans because otherwise you're yeah. not allowed in. So a really nice guy did say when we tried to go into the second place, he was like, "I can't let you in because you're wearing tracksuit bottoms, and yeah. that's the policy in most places." Yeah, we didn't. He didn't tell us why. No, nah, he um, just said this is a policy. Look, yeah, we can't let you in. We're not going to argue. With so that. he said, "Look, is there anywhere is. we can go?" He did recommend going to that so, Sheehan's yeah, place. Yeah, so we went so, in there. But it, actually, it was nice of him to recommend yeah. somewhere. And it worked out well because the food in there was really nice. Really so. Nice, yeah. Yeah, that's a lesson learned that maybe I should not wear tracksuit bottoms uh, when we go go away. But, but hey, for you guys things. watching, if you're going to Dublin and you think, oh, I'll just yeah. wear tracksuit bottoms to be comfortable, yeah, don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, wear some jeans. Wear jeans. But yeah, it was good, good fun, good uh, trip, really away. Yeah. My, my brother-in-law and my sister Rachel, Rachel and Darren, they absolutely loved it. 
we had some good fun, good some, uh, made some good memories. It was fun. And whether we do something all Drank together a lot, again. Ate a lot. Yeah, we might do something again good. all together at some point. Uh, we haven't got anything penciled in with those guys uh, in the near future anyway. But we do have some trips coming up soon. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep you guys in the loop. Keep watching. Yep. If you don't follow our Instagrams, go and follow us. Go and follow me at Mr. Tommy Old. Go and follow Jess at Jessica underscore old 18. That's Tom the one. will put it in because yep. I can't remember what it we'll is. <laughs> Yeah, and also give the video a like. If you haven't uh, liked any of our other videos, go back and watch them because yeah, it all few, helps the channel out. We've got a few uh, series on there, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we have, yeah. And we've got so many more coming up. So it's going to be exciting to obviously bring you guys along. So if it's something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything when it does pop up yeah. online. And sorry, can we just disclaimer, like I look terrible. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long day again. These travel days do get us. Even though it's an hour's flight, it does catch up. Yeah, flight, but we were up but, really early. Our flight yeah. was at like ten, and we had to be at the airport for eight. So yeah, it was just we a, were up really early. Yeah, it was and just a mad one. We had a we had a, a few alcoholic beverages. Yeah, so of course that's what you do when you're Takes in Dublin. Its toll. Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> but hey, I need a good sleep. <laughs> exactly. So we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.